Hey, it's Chaim with The Verge. We're here in Berlin and Eva killed the bezel. We've seen a ton of new laptops announced, different size, different form factors, different shapes, but there's all one thing that they have in common. They have all these incredible displays that have basically no screen borders at all. You hate bezels, I hate bezels. Bezels are dead. Well, mostly, they're, they're mostly dead. From Acer Swift 5 and Swift 7 to Asus's new Zenbooks to Lenovo's updated yoga laptops, it seems that every new computer this year has just ditched its bezels at the door. And it's not a new trend in tech either. The bezel-less revolution has been sweeping through smartphones for the last year. And where devices like the Essential Phone or iPhone 10 were once eye-catching, they've quickly become the norm across the industry. And now that the smaller screens of smartphones have been solved, it seems that we've decided that the next step is laptops. This year's crop of laptops pushed the treasured screen to body ratio even higher. The Swift 5 is 87.6% screen, while the newly teased Swift 7 checks in at 92%. And Asus's Zenbooks have its new ErgoLift hinge design, which in theory is for improving typing, but really just cleverly hides the lower bezel so that it can claim to be up to 95% screen. It's not just about aesthetics though. I mean, sure, bezel-less screens look fantastic, but there are actual real benefits here. Take something like the Acer Swift 5, which takes a 15.6 inch screen and puts it in the body of the old 14 inch model. Or Asus's Zenbooks, which go in a different direction. It takes a 13 inch laptop and it makes it so much smaller than it used to be, almost an unheard of size for that class of screen. There are a few kinks to iron out though. While companies have gotten really good at minimizing the top and side bezels, all that tech that powers the screen needs to go somewhere, like the cable connectors and hinges, which means that that bottom bezel is gonna be a lot harder to get rid of. It's a similar issue that we've been seeing with smartphones already, with notches and chins everywhere. And think of webcams. The bezel is typically where the webcam goes, and while companies like Huawei and Dell have tried various solutions, like hiding the camera at the bottom of the screen or inside the keyboard, there's still no great solution yet. Dell's XPS 13 kicked off the bezel-less screen design in laptops with its Infinity display all the way back in 2015. Dell didn't sit out EFA this year either, slimming down the bezels on its cheaper Inspiron line to bring the edgeless displays to even lower price points. Even Apple's mostly on board with its recent MacBook Pros featuring smaller bezels, although the company does still sell its older MacBook Air with its massive 2011 era bezels intact. But this year's wave of laptops is really just the start. We're already at the point where this feels like it should be the norm. And laptops with full bezels are already looking like giant, cumbersome dinosaurs compared to their sleek and slim cousins. And it's really hard to imagine anyone looking at something like Asus's new Zenbooks or Dell's XPS 13, and then choosing the old last year's model over it. It's that significant of a difference. So yes, bezels are dying. And if laptops really are following smartphone trends, then IFA is just showing us what the beginning of what the future of computers might look like. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe our channel for more great videos from IFA. And yeah, we're The Verge on YouTube, youtube.com slash The Verge. I fizzled out there. I forgot there was more stuff. That's perfect. <laughs>